Oh my goodness! Two recently hatched baby turtles. Let's go ahead and give it a proper home, shall we? Oh, look at how cute baby turtles are. They enjoying themselves in this makeshift home. We can do a lot better than this. Thank goodness that Higer Zoo is here to the rescue. Introducing the Higer Zoo Acrylic Reptile Terranium. So there are actually two sizes, one small and one large. We decided to go with the large one because we want, who doesn't love a big home, right? Beautiful home to relax in. So straight out of the box, you have the beautiful terrarium, which is ready to be assembled. Don't worry, I'm walking you guys through it. Reference the user's manual. So first thing you'll notice is you can put it in two different orientations. You can have it like a sideways landscape mode or a portrait top-down mode. But since we have two baby turtles, I opted, I'm, I think I'm gonna do it the sideways mode. All right, so you have seven of these side pieces and also the top and bottom and also has this nice little i call this like a rectangular piece where you could put like sand or water and then you have some of these rubber attachments to provide a better seal tiny little screwdriver and a screw and this even has a thermostat hum humidity indicator built in. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is on the inside of it, make sure you peel all this plastic so you can show the beauty of how clear the plastic is. And actually some of these are on both sides. So I have the pieces nicely laid out right here. This is going to be the bottom piece. You see how you have the cutouts? It's going to fit in there. So let's get started. Now we are going to use silicone rings for added protection. Okay, for all of the members that we see right there. So we secure it in place so it doesn't pop out. All right, so I have this fully assembled. I want to give a quick warning, make sure you snap this in place. It might take a little bit of force, but it has to be inserted in here securely. So I'm going to open up the tank, see the sliding door, very easy to do. So here are the two orientations I'm talking about. So let's say if you want, you have a reptile. So this is where you would have it in the vertical orientation and with the tray. You know, you can put sand in here for your lizard. Okay, like this. But for my preference, I prefer it to be sideways for my two turtles. So one key note is make sure you use all of those plastic, I meant rubber seal rings to secure it all over. There was uh, just one extra one left over. All right, so I just rinsed it out. And I know it says leak proof, but keep in mind, this isn't an aquarium. So you want to minimize the use of water. Definitely, if you want to use water, put it in this tray, which I'm going to use as a pond. All right, now here comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and decorate this terrarium.
So, how is the decoration? Here's a first look. I named him Neo and put him in the water. Look at that. I have a little bridge going on. And this is my mom's. We haven't named him yet. We put him in a dry land right here. Look at that. Oh, he's already climbing to the water. Okay. I see where you're going. Uh, use this little ramp right here. Oh, he might go for a swim. He's like, oh, you almost there? You oh, you flipped over. He's having a good swim right there. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> go with your little brother. I think we need to add a little bit more sand right here. Um, I'm debating if I should put this in here. But this is so fun to you. They're really having fun. Okay, let's go ahead and put the cover on. See? And now it shows the temperature set at 64 degrees with 76.8% humidity. Here's my mom coming check it out. Does it look beautiful, mom? <laughs> See, they're enjoying the swim, mom. Look at that. They're having so much fun with the ventilation. On both sides, it's great. I yeah, think we need some fun. to find more of these aquatic plants. How are you doing, Neil? Oh, I'm absolutely falling in love with this terrarium already. I really appreciate the built-in temperature and humidity function. That's a must-have for keeping reptiles in a terrarium. And with an easy latch access to cleaning and also your pets, Here's some kale for you guys to stay healthy. They're having a good swim right here. I really love that tray. You can put sand or, my preference, water, especially for these baby turtles. I think I will need a little bit more sand put in here. I want to probably decorate the pool too. So it's quite fun. The terrarium has a built-in uh High quality thickness, four millimeters, just the right thickness for that protection. It's easy to assemble and disassemble. And the ventilation is a must have to keep your uh, pets well oxid. Make sure they get enough air and oxygen. This is definitely versatile too. Wow. And I bet you, you I bet you can even take this on family road trips. Ooh, it's a nice sunny day. I took the baby turtles out to the front yard for some air and some sun. So as you can see, this is a very versatile and easy to use and care for terrarium. No matter what kind of pets you like, it could be baby turtles, spiders, snake, lizard, scorpion, caterpillar, hermit crab, frog, snail, or even shrimp. With the Higer Zoo acrylic reptile terrarium, they'll be living their best life.